Check the description for the following discount codes. Before we get into the video, don't forget Sim Racing Studios Power Win Giveaway Competition is running right now. Details in the description. I get asked all the time in the comments for gameplay videos. People like watching gameplay videos. I never understood it in the beginning, but I find myself watching gameplay videos. Now other people driving, you know, mostly dirt rally stages because that's what I'm into the most. And it is entertaining, so I can see why you're asking for it. So the problem I have is I can't talk whilst I drive. If I'm, if I'm talking and driving, it's just going to be a crash fest. It's going to be crap to watch. So I have done a video once before, just one, one stage. Um, and people liked it. So I thought to myself, I want to try and do more of these. Um, and what I've got going on at the moment, especially during lockdown here in the UK, is me and a few friends have a Facebook group where we choose a dirt rally stage and car at the beginning of the month. This is the second month we're in now, March. And we just try and put in the best time we can throughout that month. And whoever's in top place, in first place at the end of the month, gets to choose the next stage and the next car for the following month. So... Uh, last month we were in a Citroen C4, I believe, uh, on a Greek stage. This month, and this is what today's video is, we are in the Ford Escort Cosworth, so a classic, um, absolute classic Ford there. And we are in Scotland, Perth and Kinross, Rosebank Farm. And it's daytime, it's clear, and the surface is dry. Now, we race with all the assists turned off, including ABS, because we like to make things hard for ourselves. Um, so it's just down to us as drivers. And none of us are, you know, we're not amazing. We're not setting world, world records or anything like that, but it's a bit of fun. Now, I videoed myself cut, getting taking first place, um, I think it was yesterday. So, and this was, this was for the Facebook group. It wasn't really for YouTube. So the sound isn't the best because it's just being recorded on the internal microphone of my camera. So I may even try and sort of talk over it, perhaps do a commentary. But the video quality is obviously fine, and at the end the replay is ripped from the, the PC, so the audio and visuals are spot on there. But I thought I may as well throw a video together for you lot, as you do like to see gameplay videos. Um, so this is what we're doing today. It is, so this was recorded yesterday, which was the 6th of the month, so we're only a little way into this stage. Um, so the time isn't going to be the quickest. It's definitely going to be, you know, in another three weeks, someone's going to have beaten me and maybe I'll beat them again. Who knows? But let's, let's roll the clip and I'll just talk you through what I'm doing exactly. So, yeah, this, um, as I say, it's the sixth of the month. So I think I've completed this stage only a total of five times in its entirety. So, you know, there's lots of mistakes. There's lots of time to be made up. This first section here, maybe the first 25% of the stage, I've probably done that about 20 times because what happens is I'll, I'll start the stage, I'll crash after 30 seconds and then I'll restart. And this will happen over and over, especially this bit here through these, through these locks. And this will happen over and over again. So I've probably done this first, probably first quarter of the stage, yeah, maybe 20 times. So this is definitely my fastest part of the stage. Um, coming up to, yeah, we've got a right three coming up here. The amount of times I fell off the edge there in the beginning was ridiculous. It's a very, I don't know, just have to whack it down into third gear and get in there tight. So this bit here I'm familiar with, this corner here is also a twat. It seems to be extra slippery for some reason and I just can't get around there as quickly as I'd like. But from this moment on, this, from this point on, this is, I've only done the rest of this stage, I think four or five times. So that first sort of quarter of it, I was doing from memory because I do know that, having done it about 20 times. What we're seeing now is me actually driving from my co-driver's calls. I don't know, like I say, I've done this maybe four or five times. So it's all a bit, it's all a little bit vague. This bit here, I've got to a couple of extra times as well before because in fact, yeah, I did a nasty crash there on the right into those logs once as well. So yeah, perhaps perhaps from here onwards, in fact, is, is the real sort of driving from the co-driver calls actually, thinking about it, I do recognize that part of logs that I crashed into. And I, I, I really like this stage. The, the, the one we did previously in Greece was hairpin after hairpin after hairpin, all on the handbrake and was a much slower pace. This is a really fast pace. You're in sort of fifth, sixth gear a lot of the time. And it makes a nice contrast from the one we did before. What I don't like, however, is the steering speed or the steering rack 
of this Escort Cosworth. Being an older rally car, this corner wasn't a very good one either, but it was, yeah, it was a bit slow, but it was all right. And then I end up here in the book. That was not an intentional cut. I did, that's just where I ended up um, by, you know, because I don't know it. And again, I think you see a little bit of bouncing off the, the inside of corners, clipping things. I think perhaps, yeah, you can see me clip things there. Again, I don't know this. This is from the co-driver course. Anyway, yeah, back to the Cosi. Um, the speed of the rack, I think I actually clipped those signs on the left there. The speed of the rack in the Cosi compared to the Citroen we were in, which is like a two or three year old car, um, is so much slower. Like you have to, the steering inputs required to get the same level of wheel rotation is massive. And the first five goes I had on this stage, I didn't make it round two corners because I wasn't used to having to turn the steering wheel so far. What I mean by that is, uh, again, I was on the handbrake there, there was totally no need, but I didn't know the corner. Um, yeah, what I mean by the, the speed of the rack. So I think the Citroen had like a 280 degree rack, perhaps. And I'm gonna guess this Cosi, it must it must even be, be close to seven, eight, nine hundred, maybe a total guess. But it means you have to turn the wheel way more to get the same level of steering input. Um, and yeah, it took me ages to get used to. And this is one of the best features I like in Dirt Rally is that if you set up soft lock and calibrate your steering wheel, it adjusts the degrees of rotation on a per car basis to match the real world car, which is great. It really adds to the, the different feel of driving these different cars. But yeah, this once I got used to that, the Cosi is actually quite good fun to drive and it handles really nicely. The, the, the ratios are quite, I even hit the, the finish box on the right hand side there as I come through. But that was my time. Um, the replay is gonna roll on now after I do my little dance here. Um, but yeah, I, I'll stick some of these up, you know, throughout the months as and when I happen to record a half decent one or, or something like that and, and hopefully you guys will enjoy them. But I'll let the replay roll out now. Um, thanks very much for watching and as always, take it easy.